Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa and a very good morning to all my dear students. My name is Apshan Salima and I am going to take English classes for you all this academic year 2020-21. As you all may be aware of the present COVID-19 situation prevalent all over the world, we are unable to do our regular course and are faced with many unavoidable situations. The same is the situation wherein we are unable to take our regu regular classes. So this academic year, we are going to follow a new method of learning that is through virtual learning. The method will have video presentation of the different lessons and you have to watch them carefully and do the assigned work by the teachers and keep your work updated. Our unit 1 is about family. Each unit is divided into three parts A, B and C. The first unit the tattered blanket is a story, second my mother is a poem and third a letter to a friend is again a short story. The first page is basically the main is called the face sheet. The face sheet has the basic content that is present in all the three parts A, B and C. As you can see, the first page here is about a family. In this unit, it is family, its value and importance that is covered in all the three parts. Yes, for all of us, our family is very important. As you all may be aware that a family is divided into two parts, nuclear family and joint family. They are both pros and cons of nuclear family and joint family. A nuclear family has mother, father and children. It has lot of privacy but the children often feel lonely and there are even many financial problems as there is only one earning member. Whereas in a joint family there live grandparents, father, mother, children, uncle, aunt, cousins all live together. There is not much privacy in this family but we can share our sorrows and happiness with each other and have moral support. Thus you might have understood about the different families prevalent all over the world. Now coming to the picture, there are two families as you can see. Family 1 has parents and a child, definitely it is the nuclear family. And family 2 has grandparents, mother, father, uncle, aunt and a child. Yes, it is the joint family. Thus this is the difference that you can notice in both the images. These are the two types of family that we can see all over the world and they have their own benefits and negative side as well. Now coming to our part A of unit 1, it is about the tattered blanket. It is a story which shows the diminishing value of family relationships. The story is written by Kamala Das. She is the daughter of a famous Malayalam poet. She is an internationally known poet, short story writer and novelist who writes effortlessly both in English and Malayalam. Here in the present story, The Tattered Blanket, the author Kamla Das tries to bring out the diminishing family values in the society. Let me introduce you to the characters in the story. Mother, Amma, she is an old lady. She is the mother of Kamla and Gopi. She has grown old, weak and has very uh, and has much memory loss often. Kamala, she is a widow who takes care of Amma and they both live in their ancestral house. While Gopi, the only son of Amma, lives in Delhi with his family. He hardly comes to meet Amma, neither does he call her. On the other hand, on the other hand Amma misses Gopi a lot and often inquires about him. It has been five long years since Gopi has come to see Amma. We will continue in part two, the remaining part of the story. One day when Amma was sitting in the veranda along with Kamla, a car stopped at the gate. Amma told Kamla to go and look at the gate who it is. Kamla was very happy at the unexpected visit of her brother Gopi. She told Amma that it is Gopi who has come to see them. Gopi told that he has stopped there to, to meet Amma after a meeting at Tiruvanthapuram. 
but amma does not recognize gopi instead she asks kamala whether gopi has written a letter kamala tells her yes gopi writes to her every day and he is fine kamala informs her brother that amma often has memory loss these days she has become very old and weak and she keeps on inquiring about gopi and whether there is a letter from him every day so and kamala tells gopi that she tells that he writes to her every day for her satisfaction amma then again asks who it is at the gate gopi introduces him by greeting amma and says i am gopi and i have dropped here from a meeting at the trivantapuram to meet you amma but amma does not recognize gopi instead he she says that do you re- do you remember my son or do you know my son who works as a government officer and he earns a salary of 2500 gopi says yes i know him then amma tells the person to g- convey a message to her son that she needs a blanket the old blanket which gopi had given her had become a very very old and tattered and as there is cold in the morning she needs a new red blanket to avoid herself from catching cold the person that is gopi replies in affirmative then amma tells kamala to make her lie down on the bed so that she feels relaxed kamala takes amma to the bed and makes her comfortable when she comes out after that gopi tells kamala that he has come to her to meet her to have a share of property he says that he lives in delhi and it is very expensive to maintain a very good standard of living he has four children and he is not able to make both the ends meet with his salary and he has decided to share uh, to take his property and uh, share of property and sell it and for this purpose he has come to meet them kamla is very astonished at the way the brother speaks and he says uh, and she says why don't you um, come and meet amma often why don't you recognize your duties towards amma gopi says but amma can't remember me kamla replies but do you remember amma do you remember amma and his duties towards amma gopi is silent kamla is very irritated at the way her brother speaks and he is she is annoyed and feels frustrated at the way gopi neglects his duties towards amma thus in this lesson we have seen how a relationship between a mother and son has become very fragile the the story tattered blanket has a very close relationship with the uh, with the relationship of a mother and son same as the relation same as the tattered blanket has become very old and tattered the relationship between the son and the mother has become very old and tattered too the author thus conveys that however we live our lives we should not make our relationship with our family members fragile we should instead make them stronger it doesn't matter where we live how busy we are in our lives but we should always care for our parents we should value them and take great care of them we should spend quality time with them because that can only compensate the sacrifices they have made for us thus i would likely to, i would like to conclude with the saying that it is not enough to preach about family values we must value families the task for today children is in a write in about 100 words which family do you like to live in joint family or nuclear family on a4 size paper see you in the next class till then thank you